What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to a brand new Mike Mill, Mike the Wrestling Collector here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Mike the Wrestling Collector. Follow me on Whatnot, Mike the Wrestling Collector. And you subscribe here. We got three packages, two from Whatnot and one from Wrestling Collector Shop. So we got this first box here from Whatnot we're going to open up. We'll get to the new figures after we get these two Whatnot ones open. A little backstory on this one because it's going to make no goddamn sense. Now, I'm kind of salty about it. But if you know what whatnot is, you know how people do like wheels and surprise things. I think I paid, which I overpaid by a mile because this figure is worth like $4. But uh, I picked a number. I paid like 15 bucks. He opened a little thing and I was like, oh, what did I get? I get something good? No, I did not. I got fucking probably the worst option you can get. I got Nyla Rose, bro. I don't <laughs> I, I, I mean, at least I got, he's from Hawaii, so at least I got a Hawaii shot glass, but no, very, very sad about that. The guy after me got Legends Kane, I get Nyla Rose, bro. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, we're just, we're gonna move on to the next box here. This next box is a little bit heftier, so that's gonna be interesting. So, we got a big, bigger, heftier box here, also from Whatnot. And I'm trying to remember what this one is. I think I know. I think it's another thing I won. Whatnot's really fun if you guys aren't on it. Especially if you like the mystery games and stuff like that. Because usually no matter what, you're a winner. You just have to hope for the best. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. God damn it. Yeah, this one was a little disappointing as well. But not as disappointing, so... So I played this guy's game four times. I think the spots were 10 bucks a piece, right? So in the end, I didn't lose money, but I didn't really gain anything. But yeah, the spots were 10 bucks a piece, right? And I like you you pick you pay the 10 bucks and you pick a yeah, number, just like the last guy. How everyone does it. You pick a number. The first one I got was very sad, very upset. I was like, are you joking? But I can make another custom MJF. We got the uh, unri or unrivaled or unmatched MJF. So that was the first one. I was like, you know what? Let me run it again. Let me do it one more time. And then I got T-Bar, <laughs> which isn't a bad figure. You know, it's worth 10 bucks, I guess. So then I got T-Bar. And then it was getting down to the nitty gritty. I was like, you know what? We're going to run it. we going to run it one more time. I was like, why not? You know what I mean? We got nothing to lose until you do. You know what I mean? The next time, unfortunately, I got a mock AEW Adam Page Walmart exclusive, which isn't terrible, right? And I decided to do it one last time just to see, because I, you know, I had the money anyway, and I didn't really care. And I got a, a Mr. America, so I mean, it wasn't <laughs> wasn't too bad of a whatnot stream. I think I paid like a total of like fifty bucks, because ten bucks a spot, and after shipping and stuff. But I got got three elites and I mean I got two elites and two AEW figures, so not terrible. You know what? Not terrible. Mr. America's kind of cool. I might open them because the box seems a little messed up, or I might just leave them in the box because the hell am I gonna do with Mr. America? You know what I mean? But all right, let's go. Let's get to the main event here, the one I'm most excited for, the one that's been on pre-order for a couple months now. Open this bad boy up. Again, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? If you're not following me on here, what are you doing? What not, Mike the Wrestling Collector. Instagram, Mike the Wrestling Collector. Bada boom. Pictures and thoughts and stuff of these two figures are going to be on my Instagram. And we got the top picks, Cody Rhodes. And the man himself. Mr. Logan Paul. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We finally got them. Very excited. Pre-ordered these. As soon as I seen Logan Paul was in the set, I was like, really top picks? Logan Paul, first elite bet. Pre-ordered them. Like a month later, they showed the pictures. I'm like, okay, I'm happy I pre-ordered them. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and open these up, give you my quick thoughts and opinions on them, and then we'll wrap it all up. All right, we got them open. We got them. Pose them around a little bit. Let me give you my thoughts. Uh, Cody Rhodes is just another Cody Rhodes, but I love all the Cody Rhodes figures, so I'm not complaining. This head scan's a lot better. I have it on some of my fix-ups from the Ultimate Edition. 
Uh, Attire-wise, really like the red. The same thing Jazzwares did, but Mattel did it better, of course. Really excited. Come on, tripod. Like, I can't do anything. Anyways. Yeah, Cody's really nice. The, just like my damn toy said, the tattoo is a little higher, but oh well. Uh, for some reason, my one of my legs doesn't go up. See, look, it like goes up right there, and that's it. See, but this leg can go all the way up. This leg does not. Kind of disappointing. My contact them, get a new one maybe. I don't know, just kind of annoying. Or I'm going to heat it up and see if it can be normal. I don't know. I haven't had that happen in a long time, so... But yeah, really nice. Cody Rhodes, really like the head scan. Keep it coming, dude. Keep the Cody Rhodes coming. I am a big fan of all the Cody Rhodes elites, so keep them coming. Still don't have the defining moment, so maybe eventually I can get that for a good price. Or if anyone has that for a good price, let me know. Uh, next up, we got Logan Paul, bro. And it's just so so wild to me that we got a Logan Paul figure, dude. I remember watching this guy on Vine, YouTube, for years. And then, of course, the Forest, th oh, the forest thing got canceled. Came back. And this, uh, yeah, really crazy to have a Logan Paul action figure. Especially WWE, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, the attire isn't crazy. His gears have been okay. The Prime bottle's kind of funny. It's just crazy to see that, too, in figure form. Head scan's the same one from Ultimate Elite or the Ultimate Edition. I like the formula, the torso, the legs, everything like that. Uh, yeah, to compare them, I made a... Because uh, I bought the Battle Pack with Roman Reigns just for the Logan Paul head. And I made, like, a promo for Logan Paul, right? So I'm just see, I'm just curious. So this same height, they're the same height, so that works. Yeah, I don't know. I just did that to make like a promo Logan. But just real quick, I just want to swap the heads just so I can see how the serious head looks on the elite. I'm sure it's. I just pro. Oh my god, bro. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? I I I I have no words, bro. All right, well. Oh, I cannot believe I just fucking did. <sighs> All right. Well, fuck me. There we go. Cool. Well, yeah, Logan Paul, highly recommend. Cody Rose, highly recommend. Uh, you guys know the articulation. I'm not going to go over all that because I don't want to waste your guys' time. But, yeah, thank you, Wrestling Collector Shop. We got the Elite Solo Sako on the way, too. So when I get that, I'll make a little mic. Bro, I swear to God. Follow me on Instagram, Mike's Wrestling Collector. Subscribe. And thank you all. And peace out.